Hi Foldscope community. My name is Holly Stewart and I'm the Education Specialist for Foldscope Instruments. This video is part of a series of videos offering you some tips, tricks, and strategies for using the new Foldscope 2.0. One of the exciting new features of the Foldscope 2.0 is that we now offer three different levels of magnification for viewing your samples. You can now view your samples at 50 times magnification, 140 times, or even 340 times magnification. The lenses are interchangeable and they hook to the front of the Foldscope with a magnet. So as you can see here, I have my 50X lens attached. If I want to do some viewing at 140 times, all I have to do is remove it from the front of the fold scope. I take my 140X lens, pop it right on. Same thing with the 340. So take the 340 and I can just put that right on there and then I'm ready for viewing. Fold scope focusing is the same way with the 2.0 as it is for the original by simply sliding the new, sturdier focus ramp, still with a thinner end and a thicker end, from the left to the right, which is bringing your sample closer to or farther away from your lens to bring it into focus. The Foldscope lenses, they, are, they do have a very short focal length, so even just moving your sample a fraction of a millimeter closer to or further away from your lens could mean the difference between being able to see your sample in focus versus not. If you find that no matter how hard you try, you cannot get your, uh, your sample to come into focus, one trick that you can try is if you look here, you see how we've got the lens attached on there. What you can do is you can take off your lens and then rotate it 90 degrees, which will allow the magnets, rather than sticking to the metal part that's visible here, it will allow the magnets to stick to the paper part of the fold scope. And that will give you just a little more distance between your sample and your lens. And then by adjusting your focus ramp, your sample should be able to come in nice and clear for you.